What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a, another episode of High School Stories. I believe this is episode 24. Um, and today's topic is going to be friends growing apart. And it's something that every person in high school faces and not everybody knows how to deal with. I feel like I particularly dealt with it in the right way. Um, so, if you guys didn't know, my one of my best friends going into high school was Nate, or Sick Twist, as, well, he's not really Sick Twist anymore, he's not in Sick anymore, but he was Sick Twist, he was one of the leaders, and I chose him to be a leader multiple times for the clan, and uh, I felt like, I, I wouldn't change that, um, I really wouldn't. Um, some stuff happened, and um, we both realized that we both changed in high school. Um, and you guys just don't, like, some people don't know how to deal with it, um, but the way I dealt with it was, instead of getting upset that we're growing apart, I just faced it, and, like, uh, kind of just, it was one of my fears going into high school that I would lose my best friend, and now it's like, alright, it's happening, it's become reality, and you kind of just gotta learn to deal with it and make new friends, and, um... I've been pretty successful at that. Uh, I'm still friends with Gino or Six Orcs, and I probably always will be. And it, I thought, uh, but I said the same thing about Sick Twist, and I don't know. The uh, Twist and I and Zorks were all three friends in in real life. We were the Three Musketeers. We were the trio. We we did everything together. Um, and now that person for me is Gino and Phil. Um, not really, like, it's more I do stuff with Phil or I do stuff with Gino and somewhat Brandon. Um, and th it's just something I've learned to deal with. And I, I kind of realized, it, he kind of opened my eyes to it, like, yeah, you're kind of shutting me out now. And I was, yeah, I, I kind of was. And it happens, and you, I don't mean to do it. It's just because I'm trying to hang out with my new friends. Uh, even though Phil was particularly... Uh, eighth, a seventh, eighth grade to high school friend, but I did talk about that, um, how him and I didn't get along too well in eighth grade. Um, but anyway, um, I've always lived by the quote, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Um, and I just want everybody to know that I wouldn't change a thing about my childhood. Um, I had a great childhood besides the fact that I was bullied for two years. Once I got out of bully, being bullied, and before I was being bullied, I had so many stories to tell. I just, there's some of them that I don't know how to tell. I don't remember exactly what happened. Um, but about 90% of my childhood memories, Nate's in, uh, or Nate and Gino are in. The other 10% is my parents, my family, or the bullying. And um, I don't remember much of the bullying because I shut it out. Um, I remember Nate and Gino sticking up for me and losing some of their good friends for that. And they were good friends to me, but uh, and they were good friends to some of the kids that were bullying me, but they wouldn't tolerate it. And that's one thing I have to thank, him, thank them for. Now, Gino's still my best friend, as, you, as I said, but Nate and I have kind of grown apart. And it, there's nothing you can do to prevent that. You guys got to realize that. Um, Growing apart happens, people change, I changed, he changed. Um, and we both have changed for the better. Um, Nate's still a really good guy. I'm, I feel like I'm still semi-good. Like I'm not, a, I'm not the best guy, but anyway, uh, a lot of things contribute to that. Uh, high school, like the atmosphere you're in changes. You get a lot more schoolwork, so you have a lot less time to hang out with people. And you have just people who um, have a better attitude and some people who have a worse attitude about change. Um, and then for me, especially the fire company contributed a lot to me changing and I, I wouldn't change that again. I wouldn't change anything about me over the last 15 years besides the fifth and sixth grade years where I was being bullied. So my fourth grade. Those are the only th two and a half years I would, be, I would change and it's just it really isn't that big of a deal. Um, I mean, growing apart, it happens, and it, it it's something you gotta face. Um, it's rough when it comes up on you, 
uh, especially when your fear becomes reality and when you lose somebody you consider a brother like that uh, it's definitely not the easiest thing to deal with but I'm gonna grab my phone real quick I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna read you guys the message he sent me and I completely agree with it okay so here's the message yo Mike I just wanted to say some things so I know we aren't really close anymore and I don't know if we are ever going to talk much again but I just wanted to say thanks for all the good memories we've had you and I are basically my entire childhood and I wouldn't change any of that but I just wanted to thank you for being a good friend for a long time and I just like to sit here th sit there sometimes and think of all the good times we had I just wanted to say this because I'm not doing too good right now Montana and I are arguing and I'm just really sad and Montana is the only one I have left and I appreciate you being there for me all those years because I know I now realize I don't have anyone else and luckily Montana is still here so thanks man for being and you don't have to respond to this I just needed to get it off my chest um, and I basically said what I just said to you guys that like 90% of my memories are him and Gino or him um, and then he said we've both changed which is something we can't stop and I don't see us becoming close like even if we tried uh, like we used to be even if we tried it wouldn't last long like it, it's it's something that you realize like he like he just said it you you and I have both changed and we can't change that we can't stop that it's something you can't stop so you just gotta kinda face it and you gotta like okay yeah we're changing try to tough it out and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out and just don't forget those memories cherish the memories you have because who knows maybe one day you guys maybe one day Nate and I will be close again maybe not I don't know um, uh, the, but he was, I, I've been friends with him since I was four, so that's 11 years, um, he's basically been a brother for me, and I just want you guys to know that it, there's no hard feelings between him and I, uh, at least from my end, I wouldn't change a thing, um, and stuff like this is just difficult to deal with, but it happens, and it's time to move on, so. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a happy New Year's, and thanks for watching.